Hey, this is Mike Garrett, pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Fayetteville. And I'm looking forward to getting together with you a couple of times a week, hopefully just like this, to perhaps have a prayer, to share a few thoughts, to read some scripture, and to stay connected to each other during this amazing time. Uh, but as we go through this time, I do want to remind you that so much in the life of the church continues. Uh, we are continuing our worship services on Sunday morning at 11. I don't see that as changing much in the near future. And those are being live streamed. You can watch them live or watch them later. But we invite you to participate in the uh, Sunday morning worship. Also, a lot of our folks are becoming more comfortable with Zoom and are uh, learning how to do interactive meeting. Uh, during this time when we can't be physically in the same place. Uh, if you haven't uh, downloaded Zoom yet or tried to gone to Zoom and taken a tutorial on your personal computer, uh, I'd encourage you to do that. Zoom is a great tool and we're going to be finding new ways to use that as time goes on. Uh, our children are already uh, using it. Our children's department is doing a great job of continuing to have Wednesday nights with our kids using Zoom. Uh, some of our adult Sunday school classes are also starting to experiment with using Zoom as well. Uh, and I'm actually working using it with our church officers so that we can continue to stay connected. Uh, so I invite you to do that too. You might be surprised uh, what that will be able to do for us uh, in the days ahead. Uh, but today, as we sort of get used to something that's hard to get used to, uh, I'm thinking a lot of us are feeling more solitude than we want, and some of us probably less. I know a lot of us have often thought we are so busy we're never going to get a moment to ourselves, and all of a sudden we have more moments to ourselves than maybe we know what to do with. Uh, uh, it has sort of fallen on us, and we're wondering, what do I make of the silence? What do I make of the lack of activity? Uh, what do I make of just having so much time to deal with me? Uh, on the other hand, some of us are used to having time to ourselves, but suddenly the house is full, the kids aren't in school, folks maybe aren't going to work, and we're finding that we're living more closely together with folks than we have in a while. And whatever you're experiencing, uh, we need God's encouragement and God's help during this time. Uh, we need to remember the church and, and the fact that folks love us and pray for us. And uh, so today I just wanted to share a couple of things with you from my devotions today. The first is a psalm that reminds us of who's in charge, uh, something we really need to know right now. This is from Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart do not put their trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, O God of Jacob. I find it a great encouragement at a time like this to remember that God is still with us, that God is still in charge, and even though much seems to be out of control, God is still in control. Uh, and one of the things we need to be doing is seeking God's face. One of the ways we can do that is by being in prayer for each other, for ourselves, and for the world. And so I thought today I would just put an emphasis on that. I want to invite you to into a, a time of prayer for others today using uh, an order that I use for evening prayer. So let get comfortable where you are. Close your eyes if it makes you feel uh, uh, more ready to participate. And uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer together. Oh, merciful God. We rejoice in your generous goodness, and we celebrate your gifts to us this day. For you have shown us your love in giving Jesus Christ for the salvation of the world. And so especially on this day, we give you thanks for the labors of the many people who have served us today. For the friends with whom we have shared, even if it is only over the phone or perhaps over an internet connection. We give you thanks for those whom we love and have loved us. We give you thanks for opportunities for our work to help others at this time when there are so many needs. 
And Lord, even though there are so many needs, we give you thanks for all the beauty that delights us on this day, for the sun that shines and the birds and the flowers that bloom in the spring. Gracious God, we know you are close to all in need. And by our prayers for others, we come closer to you. So we're bold to claim for others your promises of a new life in Jesus Christ as we claim them for ourselves. Especially today, we pray for those in dangerous jobs. O oh Lord, we remember to you physicians and nurses how aware we are of the challenges that they face right now. Protect them, our God. Put your loving and comforting hand upon them and their families. Walk with them in this time when demands are so high. Father, we remember those who are ill or confined to nursing homes. O oh Lord, it is so often a lonely place to be, and yet today it is even lonelier. So we remind, we pray for those who are feeling that loneliness and ask that you would be their companion in that loneliness and that you would uh, lift their burden and speak to their hearts. Father, we remember today those who mourn. Be particularly today, our God, with those who mourn the loss of loved ones. Be with those who mourn the loss of of folks who have passed away during this pandemic. Lord, be with those who are simply afraid of who they might lose. We pray that you would speak into the fear of our heart and give us the comfort of your presence and the hope of your resurrection at all times. And, O oh Lord, we pray for your church today. This is a strange time for us, a time when we are reminded, perhaps, of the basics of our faith. And so we ask that you would meet us in prayer and in scripture and our thoughts uh, of and for one another and the worship that we are able to share in. O oh Lord, form us for yourself during these days that we might be your witnesses at this time. Give us your strength. And now together we pray the prayer Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So may God bless you today. May God encourage you and walk with you. And I look forward to sharing prayers and thoughts uh, with you in the days ahead. Have a good evening.